guys. So we've got Challenge Lock in the vice. This one is... Get it around the right way. Shim Shimini pins by prior. So we do have a mummified key. So I can't see what the bedding is. And if you push down, <laughs> you know, let's try and give us a helping hand. Can't make out what the bidding is at all. So hopefully we won't need the key until gutting. And we do have a nice paracentric keyway if my camera will cooperate, as you can see. But let's hope I can get this thing picked. My first lock ever by prior so should be a bit of fun to pick all right i'm going to use a the forest half ball this is from the come on camera focus for me south lord usa slim line set this is the c2010 pick set that i just did the review of all right, let's go clockwise. Try and pick from the bottom here. Super light tension. Little click off one. Check right up the back. Don't think that's quite locked into the vice enough. Little click off out the back there. Alright, little click off one, and I'll just drop the tensioner. Trying to hold it. One is okay. One is definitely picked off, I believe. Uh, come on, we'll click out of two. seem to get on him come on all right nice click out of two then nothing on three just touched four no that was i believe that was actually six five i mean Oh, a nice deep fault set going. So now I'm just, no. I'm just going to feel around for any counter rotation. So super light tension, as long as I can keep my tensioner in. Can't quite seem to get on that. Pin up the back here. And we have an open off four. So I was trying to reach. Alright, that's actually quite a fun little pick. Now, quite tricky with that keyway being a Schlage style keyway, but whoop, it's definitely an open. And I believe this is actually one of those arrow, that's a abloy arrow kicks. Because um, I believe I've actually 
turned one of these into a challenge lock before, but definitely got an open, as you can see. So let's go ahead and lock him back up since we got a key. My very first ever lock by prior. Uh, this looks like painter's tape. Just try and trying to get it out without damaging the tape too much. Yep, it was an arrow. I believe that's so I did them as well. So let's make sure this does work. Uh, it does like the catch a little bit. As you can see, wait. It does catch, but that's alright. Come on. Still functioning key when it wants to. Come on out. Come on. Alright. Let's move this stuff out the way for a minute. Get out the beast. Bring on the beast. Tweezers. Clip remover. I'll check and see what size follower I need after. There's only one main hazard when it comes to lock picking, and that is stabbing your finger with a clip remover after you've picked the lock. Oh. This thing just does not want to budge, I believe. No, wrong tool. The only bit of weirdness I see is pin 5, it's a little bit narrower than the rest, but I kind of make out, looks like some threading in 1 and 2, and some nice trippy pins. Alright, so everything definitely had to be picked. Let's dump these bad boys out. One, looks like it's serrated, same as two, three, four looks like a torpedo spool, five, same kind of thing, six, like a single serration. Alright, let's have a look at these mods. We have threading in one, two, very nice shallow undercut in three, so not too deep, um, well, it's not too wide, I should say, in the length, normally, it's a nice thin slice into it, uh, four and five are standard, then the same in 
six if I stop knocking my camera you can see there's like a single little undercut just there very very nicely done so awesome little tricky work must say nice bit of a fault set and no modifications upstairs at all it's completely stock so let's have a close look at these pins so one and two they're pretty much exactly the same nice serrated key pin there and Got three in key pin two. Key pin three. Nice shallow serrations, but quite a nice pin. Four, it's kind of like a torpedo pin. Beautifully done. Five is slightly narrowed uh, on the top there, so not quite. A security pin has just been narrowed a bit, kind of like the uh, Lockwood pins. And we have kind of like a mini torpedo in six. Upstairs, pin one, we have a beautiful serrated key pin. Nice deep serrations on that. So a nice homemade one. Two, we have almost a spools, but not quite they're more serrations verging on the edge of spools for the driver in two three it's like a double spool absolutely gorgeous gorgeous pin four we have that kind of like wedding cake t pin with the point pointing down six pretty much the same thing another t pin that looks like little serrations on it. And five, sorry. And one, six. We have a nice, deep, homemade spool. And different springs in each and a double in six. But absolutely awesome, awesome lock by prior. So, not bad for my first prior lock. That was Shim Shimini. So... Anyway, as always, always while the codes keep locks put leaving, you know, don't go doing anything stupid. Please jump down here, hit that subscribe button, which is on this side, pop over this side and turn notifications on. That way you can stay up to date. As soon as I upload a video, you'll be one of the first to know. As you know, I try to upload two to three to four videos per week, depending on work and everything else that I've got going on. Don't forget to come and join us on Discord, Extraordinary League of Pickers. The link to that is in the description down below. Don't forget, you can also find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We'll put up post photos of what's going on in the background and all the fun stuff that happens around here, pretty much. If you're looking for great equipment at very competitive prices, please check out www.locksmithstoolbox.com. It's where I get all my lock picking equipment from and all the stuff for reviews. Absolutely awesome Australian company. Highly, highly recommend them. Uh, if you like what you see, please give a thumbs up. Really do appreciate it. Drop a comment below. And if you want to get in contact with me, you can contact me through any of the social medias, Discord, or send us an email at darkartsdogpicking at gmail.com, and I'll get back to you. And until next time, cheers, guys.